On the Arm Wrestling Fables podcast, Devon and his sons discussed some interesting topics, a couple of which were Paul Italia versus Orden Larrett and Jerry Cadret versus Vitali Lalatin. Devon wants his son Orden to have a super match against Paul Italia, preferably towards the end of this year. I think if this match happens now, Paul Italia will take Orden for a ride for sure. But towards the end of this year, as Devon was saying. I don't know what the result of that match can be. Some people who are not really following Paul Italia's arm wrestling journey may think that he is not that strong, but he has already been destroying all of the amateur classes and he won some semi pro classes as well with only a couple of tough matches in those classes. So he was already legit almost a year ago and in this year he has leveled up even more. Devon said that he was shocked to see that Dave Chafee couldn't even slip against Vitali Lalatin. Although for many fans there was no shock because literally everyone runs into some trouble trying to slip against Vitali. Even Hermes fouled out 3 times just to get the slip in the first round and he still couldn't. And maybe this shows that when the Devon versus Vitali match happens, Devon isn't too much bothered or worried about how he is going to get a slip against Vitali. He has a plan and he knows it is going to work. And speaking about the Vitali versus Jerry match, Devon said it is the worst stylistic matchup for Vitali and the best stylistic matchup for Jerry. It couldn't have been any worse for Vitali and he is going to be in some big trouble because he cannot go inside with Jerry. He cannot go sideways with pure side pressure. He will just top roll. That's the only move that he has. Jerry also has only one move, a flop press or a tricep press, but that move works well against a top roller and especially a tall top roller like Vitali who doesn't have a press to finish a match. Yes, Vitali kind of called out Jerry after King of the Table 10, but as we have already discussed in the previous videos, that match was already set. I would like to know if this match was offered to Vitali initially or he was the one who initiated the conversation of this super match. I would be surprised if Vitali was the one who wanted this super match. So Vitali is going up against someone who is an absolute stylistic nightmare for him. And on the other hand, people are not really willing to arm wrestle him on the left arm, which is kind of disappointing for the Russian bear. So Vitali was recently interviewed on a Russian arm wrestling page, World Arm Wrestling News. I think it was on Telegram page. and in that interview he talked about the Dave Chafee match in detail he said he already won that match in quite dominant fashion if he wanted to he could have easily finished it 6-0 but he let Dave Chafee go to the straps actually he let Dave start straight to the straps there was no slip and even inside the straps now this part is interesting because there are many speculations some people are saying Vitali was just playing and many others including me were saying that Vitali was as serious as he could have been inside the straps and still he lost the fifth round to Dave so Vitali said that he didn't attack as good as fast as he could have after the ready go he kind of let the match stop in the middle and then he worked from there After that he tried everything but he couldn't finish. So those who were saying Vitali didn't try at all and those who were saying Vitali gave it his all both are kind of wrong. The truth is somewhere in the middle according to Vitali. So we can say that that worked out well and didn't work out well for Vitali both at the same time because as Devon was also saying if Vitali had just stopped pulling after 4-0 we would have been shocked as to how strong this beast has become. But right now we kind of see the chink in the armor the problems the stylistic problems and the strength problems that Vitali may still have Vitali was also asked about Farid Osmanli and a competition against him at AMC he said he would like to have that competition but he couldn't maybe he was speaking about contracts because initially Vitali said that he cannot compete at AMC any longer then about a month or so later he said he can still compete at AMC and this time he once again said that he will not be going there actually he cannot go there and speaking of his left arm he was asked why hasn't he competed in last one year and he is still going to not compete on the left arm for many more months at least it looks like that So the reason is probably nobody wants a left-handed match against Vitali. Tobias Sporong was also saying people don't really understand how strong Vitali's left is. We have seen Vitali in 2022 competing guys like Ivan Matushenko, Zaur Pezulayev. We talk about how good Ivan is. 
Vitaly didn't even feel Ivan. That's how easily Vitaly dominated him. So that's a different level beast. I don't think Artem Morozov is ready. Maybe Alex Kurdecha can do something because of his forearm length and stuff. But it is going to be a difficult task for everyone. And speaking of Artem Morozov, the King of the Table 11 card is absolutely mind-blowing. The best card that we have seen by King of the Table. But Artem Morozov facing Ivan Matyshenko and while Vitaly is ready to compete, obviously Morozov is also ready to compete. That's why he's competing there. And still the match isn't between these two guys is kind of beyond shocking for many Armwrestling fans. At some point in the future, we would like to know the reason why it wasn't a Vitaly vs Morozov title defense match. And why is Ivan already jumping for the super heavyweight title while kind of jumping ahead of Vitaly in that line and without even defending his 115 kg title. Someone posted this famous YouTube poll on Reddit. Who best arm wrestler of all time? And 74% Devin Lerett, only 8% John Brzezink, right above Levan Saganashvili. And naturally, people are pissed at this poll. But in my mind, the first question was, which YouTube channel is this? 95,000 votes. That's crazy. Right now, it must be around 100,000 votes. This is by far the biggest poll that I have ever seen in arm wrestling. It has to be on a channel that has millions of subscribers. And clearly, people do have a reason to be mad at. I think it becomes more of a popularity contest on YouTube. So Devon has not won more titles than John Brzezink and Devon is not the strongest. If somebody got confused whether they are asking about the best or the strongest, then Levan should have been the strongest because he has clearly defeated Devon in their only outing. So that poll, yes, is kind of confusing while not being confusing at the same time because Devon is the most popular. Well, maybe not that much popular than Dennis and Levan. If it was a popularity contest, it should still have been close between these three. But yeah, maybe I'm getting confused while talking about this. We should end it here. Thanks for watching. Like the video and subscribe.